Hey there everybody, Pop Long Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a weapon mod here. This is the TOZ-194. It's a pump action shotgun. We currently have equipped with slugs and like a sniper scope so you can snipe with it. Like see through scopes now, sniper scope. So you can actually see things. You snipe with it. Slugs, so it's gonna be perfectly accurate. We could definitely snipe with this weapon if you wanted to. Nice pump, nice reload animation. The reload does have to reload all six shells though, which is unfortunate because, you know, it's just the way that the mods work, right? It's got a nice foregrip on the, on the pump action there too, and you actually do physically hold the, the grip. And there's all kinds of customizations in terms of grips and stuff, but we'll get into that in a second. It's currently suppressed, so it's nice and right? Suppress, it's essentially a suppressed sniper rifle with this current build that we have equipped here. If you want this weapon for yourself, it's added to the level list. So that means you could buy it from vendors, you could find it off of raiders, super mutants, whatever, right? And once you reach a certain level, which I believe is level 20 with this particular weapon. So if we go to the weapon workbench here, we can customize the weapon. There is a decent amount of customization going on here. So obviously advanced receiver, you know, you just kind of work your way up that. You want the most damage. Long or short barrel. Long barrel obviously gives you more range, less spread. More recoil though, I guess. More AP cost and weight. So I guess it does. it is a balance. You can trade off there. Um, it's, it's only, you know, it's only slightly more range. So I guess if it's less spread, if we say, they both say less spread, more recoil, longer range. So I don't really know. Um, you also put the hunting scope on here, but we got a lot of modern scopes. You got ACOG, you got like a probably like a three times scope, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not a big fan of like long range scopes, but you you have a ten times scope, but you could do some crazy sniping with it if you really felt like it. And I have done that. I've tested the weapon out myself with that, but it's not really like the intention of a shotgun, in my personal opinion. So I'm just gonna put your nice um, standard sights on there, which is iron sights. Uh, suppressor doesn't decrease range with this weapon. It actually makes the range significantly, well, it doesn't decrease it anyway. And it does, you know, doesn't hurt accuracy or anything. We're going to make it no suppress though, just because I want to let you guys hear the nice loud sound. If you go down here, so you got to go down here first, then you got to put rail attached. Then you can have the right rail and left rail, which is a flashlight and green laser. You could put either on either side. Technically, you could put green lasers on both sides. That's redundant, obviously. Standard mag, you can make an extended mag, but like I said, um, you have to reload every shell regardless. So if you shoot one, you have to reload six regardless every time. If you make it extended, it's eight. So that means if you shoot one, you have to reload eight. Not necessarily recommended. Two extra rounds is not going to make that big of a difference, I think, in most situations. Um, obviously, the slugs on here, you have flechettes for better armor piercing, and it does do more damage even than the slugs. And then you have dragon's breath and the regular buckshot. I'm going to put dragon's breath on that. We're going to run around and just light people on fire. There's lots of different foregrips here, as you see. The difference here is all cosmetic. They all seem to give you the same benefit of increased accuracy by a big chunk. 16 accuracy increase all the way up to 77, which is good for VATS. And all kinds of things like recoil, I imagine it actually helps. But it's a pump action. Recoil is not too much of a factor. I just put the grip on that I think looks the best. You can damage modifier. You can make it weaker, you know, all the way down 100% and all the way 100% stronger, depending on whether you think the weapon is overpowered or underpowered. So it comes black, right? But you got blue camo here, desert camo, red camo, rusty, standard, urban, winter, wood, your regular default wood, which is like a dark wood, and then an alt wood, which is a light wood. I like the wood grain look on my gun, so that's what I currently have equipped here. It is a nice weapon. It's a nice pump action shotgun. Nice animations, as you see, nice little pull out animation, nice little put away animation as well. You're shooting fire shotgun shells now. And it's like currently wigged out. But you see one, two, three, four, five, six shells you gotta put in there every time. So it's really important to spend the whole clip. We're gonna run around just hit fire in this thing like a crazy person. And we'll test it out in some combat and I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright everybody, we're here at my zombies arena arcade mode thing. So we're gonna go to USAF satellite station Olivia and then we'll spawn some stuff in. I really like to use for testing weapon mods and stuff. Um, so we don't wanna escape, we wanna start the game. Uh, let's spawn in some ghouls because it is a shotgun. And then this will spawn waves of enemies. We can escape after the first wave. Usually we only need one wave to kind of show off a particular weapon. We're just running and gunning, firing from the hip with a shotgun. Where did the zombies spawn? And they're technically zombies too, okay? You can't even judge me for that. These are not like non ferals or whatever. There's some. Obviously, you see here, nice and loud in the tunnels and stuff, we're getting a lot of volume. I shouldn't have reloaded. I always forget that. I'm bad about that. But the pump animation is just too good to show off. Lighting zombies on fire is just too satisfying not to do either. And this obviously does give you caps too. It's for the purpose of buying ammo technically. But 
like skeletons have wigged out today. Or zombies over here. Yeah. Like the oil on fire. Come get me. Hit fire running and gunning. We got I got one shell, you got one more? Or is that it? I haven't heard the beeps. The rad roaches are technically here. Oh no. The rad roach is gonna kill me. The two rad roaches are gonna kill me because I didn't even reload. And I missed. Just pump, pump, pump. We didn't finish the wave. I didn't hear a nice loud there's a nice loud beep that lets you know you're done. There's one more here. Hello? Read the last one? Yeah. So you guys get the idea though. It is a nice pump action shotgun. Does a nice satisfying pump. I love shotguns. You know me, I'm pop on top. I love shotguns. And this is a good one. I mean, the texture quality could be maybe a little bit better, but you know, it's always a, it's a risk of increasing the file size too much to be worth it, right? But a nice pump action animation, nice foregrips, nice amount of customization. You could put slugs on there, snipe with it, suppressor. It doesn't reduce range, right? Obviously, it has the unfortunate side effect of having to reload individual shells, but I think there's no way to fix that currently on console. But other than that, it's a nice, solid pump-action shotgun, and it's fun to use, and I'm having a good time with it. So I highly recommend you guys check it out for yourselves. It seems like something you'd be interested in. If you guys would like to do that, the easiest way to do that is check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda on that page, so you can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, that we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, or whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.